Today we'll be demonstrating ascending up a rope with the Raptor. This is a gas-powered ascender. So uh, if we needed to quickly ascend up the rope or up the tree on rope, we can use this as our ascending device. So before we do that, we would have to establish our rope through a crotch or over several substantial branches and then create a basal anchor on the other end of the rope at the base of the tree. So we'll go over that real quick. I'll show you our basal anchor. So we've already shot our rope up and over several strong branches. And now we take the other end of the rope, pull it up and over. And with the tail end of the rope out of the bottom of our 300 foot rope bag, we wrap around the base of the tree. And we created an anchor with a running bowline choking around itself. And then an alpine butterfly just slightly up above from that choking knot. And we take a CMC clutch and we're going to use that as our uh, basal anchor descent control device. So we load the rope into our clutch, we lock the handle off in the downward position, and then back that up with an overhand knot on a bite. So now we just want to make sure that the handle and the spine of the carabiner are facing out from the tree so that it's not slamming up against the tree and it's, it's not causing any kind of damage whatsoever. So now if the, the person going up on the raptor gets in trouble, Someone can come over here, untie the knot, pull back on the handle, and they can lower them down to the ground. All they have to do is make sure they're not connected in the flip line around a branch or a tree trunk. So that's our basal anchor. So we'll come over to the other side and we'll go for the raptor. So to load the raptor, we take this side plate, pop it open, and we have our bollard that we feed the rope through. So we want to take a bite of the rope, pop it through, and then load it in this orientation. So the tail end is going to be coming out on the side where the trigger is. Okay, so now that we've loaded it correctly and it's around the bollard through the teeth, we can close the side plate and we can take some slack out of it so that it holds itself up and we can load the backup device. This is a, a CMI rope grab that comes with the whole kit. Load it on the rope up above. Okay. Probably take that twist out next time. Okay, so that's gonna be self-tending. As you go up, that's just gonna bump down under that, loosen up, and it's gonna self-tend. So in case this fails, this will catch on the rope and it'll catch us. So now we have our, our doubled rope technique anchor point. In case we need to bail off of this quick in an emergency, we use this anchor point right here and it's designed to be used in doubled rope technique. So you put your rope through there, anchor it into your device. Uh, today for this demonstration we'll be using a unisender. So I've clipped that in to my rope bridge and now if I need to bail off of this, I just kill it and I can pinch and wrap around this and repel down. I'll demonstrate that up once I'm up in the air a little bit. So take all the slack out of this as much as possible so you're hanging on this and this other attachment point stays loose. So this is our primary attachment point into the Raptor. Once we get up into the canopy and we're ready to disconnect from this to repel or do any work, we disconnect this and we're ready to repel. So for ascent, I'll connect that in. Obviously this will be a little bit looser than my repel line and that'll be easier to disconnect it and repel. So now once that's connected and established, make sure the kill switch is not engaged. If you're starting this up for the very first time, put it on full choke pull until you hear it start to go and then turn the choke off and then you can pull. Make sure the fuel is good. Okay, so now we should be able to start it since we already started it earlier. Okay, so it's running. So now I double check everything. Make sure I'm hooked in to my harness on this. Make sure my rappel line is good. Okay, get my flip line.
if I had, if I needed my spikes, get my spikes on and all that, make sure all my kit is on and good to go, make sure any equipment I need to facilitate a rescue is either with me or ready to be hooked in and pulled up. So now that I've passed my, my PPE inspection and I've made sure that everything's connected correctly, I can test the system, get my harness sitting comfortably. Okay, I can sit down on it, make sure I'm not going to swing into the tree, and I can start going. the raptor. 